So, um, uh, you know, coming back to, to my original question, uh, we Oops. have, you know, a general, <laughs> we have a, oh, we yes. have Who a, can come? a very, uh, yeah, exactly. Yes. We have a Every, very eclectic so that's audience. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I, that's what I was coming to. It's a felt experience. So you can okay. know nothing. And if you, if you have some academic background, then you will hear and you will value from some of the, the uh, academic elements in the process. Mm -hmm. You'll work those out yourself. If you don't, you'll just walk out um, having felt it. So therefore, uh, mm -hmm. have a, a felt knowing experience. But we spend quite a bit of time working with the, with the hands, working in pairs, going through the different types of uh, uh, techniques. There are elements to the technique. There's a there's mm -hmm. a way of speaking in the mirroring hands. Uh, mm -hmm. We have uh, there's a way of not speaking in mirroring hands that you need to learn. Uh, and I, I was one of the things that I, I heard someone say. Oh, was, they did the work with me. They said, Oh, this is like content free stuff. Yeah. And I said, Yes and no. It's content free from the therapist but it's hugely content rich from the client. It's not yeah. content free. It's just a shift of where the content is um, most uh, is asked to arise uh, most. Yeah. So there's lots going on. You know, when you're sitting there with a client whose hands are receiving, whose eyes are moving, whose fingers are, are twitching, I will just let that go for as long as that happens. Mm -hmm. But we do have a fail safe in there, which is for the mainly for the therapist. And we just say, I wonder if you want to share a word or two, mm -hmm. but only if it's helpful for you. And if you don't wish to, and you wish to continue with your private work, please do so. Mm -hmm. Well, if they start talking, that's what they want to do. I've had people go like this to me. And uh, certainly if they say nothing, then just shut up, get out of the way. Stop being so, uh, so impactful, and yeah. be incredibly wise, sensitive, and observant, and ready for that moment of interactive, creative cooperation. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, you were mentioning earlier, you know, as we were, um, you know, going through 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 the questions, but. Um, can you practice this um, only in the room or can you also, you know, learn it and do it online? Well, it is something you can learn uh, online. I mean, obviously, practicing it, you know, with a, with a master. I, mm -hmm. Ernie said I'm a master, so I'm a master. I, I, yeah, there you go. I, find yeah. it, I find it hard to be that sort of language, but... but um, uh, but he wouldn't have chosen me uh, out of all the thousands of people that he deals with in the world if I, yeah. if I wasn't pretty good. So I'll, I'll accept that, that I'm pretty good. But it, it's always good uh, to work with the master because you, you uh, can, can model, you can work, and then I can come in. And I must admit, I spend most of my time when people are doing paired work, walking around going, shh, 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 sure. shh. You know, don't stop getting in the way. Uh, but also helping because sometimes uh, uh, we're dealing with difficulties. Uh, so that is certainly the ideal, but we've done actually uh, uh, some work with video. I've done some on Facebook. We've got a Facebook group, mm -hmm. and I do some group work, and people learn from each of those experiences. And I've also done uh, a, a video program that we've got uh, that's a little bit more uh, academic, a little bit more scientific in the uh, Science of Psychotherapy uh, mm -hmm. uh, program and academy that I do, do with. And... Uh, the, um, I've yet to create uh, uh, an entirely uh, online um, uh, program for the average practitioner, not for the average, that's not right, but yeah. for this eclectic, yeah. uh, that's eclectic yeah. practitioner that you talk about, yeah. mm -hmm. um, because uh, I was traveling. Uh, and yeah. Then someone came along and said, you have to stop traveling. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, the, um, but the program, I mean, with thousands of people are, are, are around the world, uh, uh, Canada, Mike Mandel, uh, you know, just endorsed it, and everybody went out and, and bought it. So there's yeah. quite a lot of practical work in there. But it just, um, uh, as we know, that person-to-person -person thing is wonderful. But the beautiful thing about mirroring hands is that once you start to grasp it, it's not about how clever you are; 
It's about how aware you are mm -hmm. and able to allow your client to engage in the process. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And um, can people join your class that you're going to have with us? Uh, can they also, of course, join um, you know online uh, via Zoom? Not only uh, in the in the room. Yeah, no, it's fantastic to have uh, a, a audio visual, so a video going mm -hmm. of the process because observation is a huge mm -hmm. part of what makes a, a, a great Ericksonian therapist, certainly. Yeah. Erickson would say, observe, observe, observe. Um, Ernie would say, observe the opposites uh, and, mm -hmm. and engage. And then what we've led on, Ernie and, and Richard Hill say, and be client responsive. And that's yeah. what I'll be doing. I actually am starting a PhD on that. So I'm, a, I, I, mm -hmm. I'm almost a PhD, uh, yeah. <laughs> just a yeah. few years work, but we're doing this work anyway. I've been doing this work uh, for, 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 for well, Ernie for 30 years and me carrying on over the last 15. Awesome. So uh, that's great. And um, another question that we always get from, from people is can once, once once people are coming to the training, they learn the method that, uh, you know, then they can start applying. Can, can I do this by myself as a, as a self therapy, self intervention? It is the most wonderful self use uh, therapy. It's something the, the therapist can use with, and of course they can teach their client to use mm -hmm. it in a self use way. Of course, the self use way is slight, is slightly different, but the principle is the same. And in mm -hmm. fact, I do it almost every day when I, uh, I, I go to, to get some lunch or something uh, uh, yeah. at the shops. There's a set of lights and they are terribly slow. It takes for, you know, <laughs> ages, it seems to take forever. And I will just stand there because, of course, now I'm steeped in it. And so I can very, very quickly just, just fall into a, a, an appropriate yeah. focused attention of what we, some people call trance, focus it in, whatever it is you call it. And I will just say, I don't, and I don't even have to raise my hands, but I can just sort of have them next to me. And I say, whatever it is that's bothering me, and I've been working hard all morning, so something is, uh, just let it out, let it go. Let, which, oh yes, this hand's receiving it, and my hand will receive it, and then uh, I'll just quietly say to myself, and I'll let it go, because I trust yeah. it. And there's a point at which it just goes, that's enough, and it throw it away. And this hand... And I find that I do this thing, and I've written it up in the in the book, and we teach it in the course. I call it closing the door, like the mm -hmm. I felt the energy come out of me, that the, the I don't want, and I put the energy I want here, and I close the door. And sometimes it, you know, it's my forehead, and it's a bit difficult when you're standing at the lights, but uh, <laughs> I'll just go yeah. like that, and then I'll do it. Then the lights change, and I just lift as I walk across, mm -hmm. and whatever it is that was within me, I didn't have to cognitively get rid of. I just intuitively uh, let go through this very, very simple process. Wonderful. And can it be done via Skype, internet, Zoom? Even better, because again, it's the client that's doing the work. So it is good you get them to stand back a little bit to try and so you can see. You're not seeing everything. There's movement that goes on sort of below the screen, which is useful uh, when you're doing face-to-face. -face. But there's lots going on on the face that you use and lots in the hands. But again, it's the client that's doing the work. And once you get them organized, once they engage, and once you see them beginning to have this dynamic interplay of work, then you don't have to intervene. You don't have to interfere. In fact, I had one client who was standing up uh, it was uh, online and she was a yoga teacher. So obviously very supple. And I didn't realize that this would be a problem because she began, I said, and I wonder, are you feeling, ah, yes, I see that hand is, is lowering. And so, and she lowered and lowered and lowered and her head went down and she, she went out of screen. <laughs> and I thought, oh my goodness, this has never happened before. So I trusted myself and I trusted mm. the client's capacity and she uh, was out of screen I could hear her breathing I could hear certain movements occasionally I would say 
uh, is there something that you would like to share with me? Or are you happy to continue with your own private work? Occasionally, mm -hmm. sometimes she would say a word or two, or she would just be silent, so I knew she was okay. I could hear her breathing. So I just responded, ah, yes. She took a deep breath. Or so I said, ah, yes, a deep breath. And if I heard a shuffle of the clothes, I said, ah, that, that little movement. So she knew I was right there with mm -hmm. her. And then at one stage, she just lifted herself up and said, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And I thought, gee, that's amazing. That's amazing. Didn't even yeah. see her, let alone uh, was it difficult. So it is a marvelous thing. It's also something you can do with people you know. Uh, I have often do it with my wife um, when she's having trouble. Say, just can we do the hands? Because I just get her going. I just get her, I allow the opportunity and the circumstances and she will do it. And then I just sit back and allow, and let her do the mm -hmm. process. And she might say, could you bring me out now sometimes, but other times she brings herself out spontaneously. So that's, mm -hmm. uh, cause I had someone say once when I was doing it, Oh, you, uh, I had a comment saying, Oh, you can't do this with people that you know, but and yeah, I said, you cannot do therapy with family and friends because, you know, ah, be, because you're instructive. Yeah, yeah, because you're instructive, because you're telling them to do things. You're mm -hmm. taking it to the places, but just back out and shove off. And if it goes beyond you beyond, and, and is interfering with the relationship, then what do you do? You quietly pull back. You, we have mm -hmm. a closing sequence that we use, which uh, allows it. And then you, ref, and you refer them on and mm -hmm. say, I think we were going to go somewhere that you and I shouldn't go together. So mm -hmm. here's a friend of mine who can do this work and continue with you. Yeah. Um, but the information comes from the client. I'm not forcing one way or the other, just responding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got you. And um, can you do this with groups? And if so, how is this different from doing it one on one? Now, one on one, you're able to be highly responsive. Uh, mm -hmm. obviously you're very very subtle now if i'm working with enormous difficulties then i obviously would like to be one-on-one -on -one, someone with with uh, extensive trauma or something that that has a great deal of history that requires not mm -hmm. only my hypno hypnosis but also my psychotherapy um and uh so i'm i'm cautious there and there are some people i don't take into hypnosis at all as we all know there are some uh mm -hmm. people who are not suitable yet i will take them into focused attention and uh uh, uh the area that is appropriate for for them uh mm -hmm. the um so when working with large groups and i've seen ernie and i have also led a group of several hundred um but it is not like one of those things where we're, we're doing a process to get a particular goal and, you know, a certain number of the people will get it, a certain number of people will go into trance and a certain number of people will fail. Mm -hmm. They won't get into trance. Everybody in the room has an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and that experience might simply be to observe others. Uh, mm -hmm. So some people have said, no, I actually didn't have anything to work on. So I watched... Uh, the lady over there who went through, wow, it was extraordinary what was going, what was going on. Um, yeah. And, uh, 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 and of course, um, uh, I like to not work in very, very large groups. And when mm -hmm. I work with Ernie, there'd be two or three of us who would wander around. If somebody went into a particular difficult direction, yeah. then we would go up and assist them. Mm -hmm. um, but uh Again, that's when we're dealing with, with people with severe mm -hmm. issues. But if we've got a group who just uh, want to work on a particular uh, simple issue, then yeah, yeah you know, let's see and, where it uh, goes. Uh, 